and I brushed my hair today and it looks like <laughs> I didn't realize brushing your hair made it look so good but it's a new thing I'm gonna start trying out today we have a haul from Lucan and it is Possibly one of my new favorite brands. Everything that I love, I love so much. I've worn multiple of these pieces. There are also some that didn't fit me because I feel like their sizing is more like one size fits all. It works out because like a lot of their clothes are baggier, but sometimes they're too baggy and like just like were way too big, so I had to give them to my friend. I'm here to tell you about the ones that I do love because I think you really need to have them in your life. I do have a 20% off coupon if you want to get anything. It's just Brittany 20. Really think you're gonna want some of these pieces. They're quite incredible. But Lucan is a Korean brand. Their thing is like Korean streetwear looks, and I shop specifically more on like the baggier, like unisex side, you know. But they do have like more girly pieces. All their stuff is shipped by DHL Express, so it came pretty quickly actually, even though it's from Korea. Let's start off with this shirt. I know my Joshua Tree pictures haven't dropped yet, but they will be coming and I wore this with these sweats in an outfit and I really love how it looks. It's a perfect oversized tee. I love the print on it. It's not too much, but it still has like a lot of graphics, something interesting to look at. Spice your outfit. I don't really like the oversized t-shirts that are just plain because I feel like then it looks like you didn't try at all. I have it tucked in the back of these pants right now. There's a very nice quality, it hangs really well. It's super thick that you'll get like hot and it won't like hang really heavy on you but it isn't thin to the point that you have to wear like something underneath it. I would try to add in graphic t-shirts and oversized t-shirts in my hauls but like sometimes they're just like too thin and they just don't look good. This one I feel like is a perfect medium and we have these sweatpants that I love so so much. First of all let me show you how long the t-shirt is without tucking it in. It's like it covers my butt so I really like that because I just walk around house usually with no pants on but they're a little bit more like loose right now because i wore them all weekend they're super cool because they're like cargo and they have drops in the bottom so you can adjust the length and everything these are actual workable pockets very cozy and i feel like they look really cool it's like a gray but it's almost as if it has some distressing like on here on here just lightly i hate sweatpants usually because i don't really love all my sweatpants because i feel like they're too tapered at the bottom they're not like baggy enough but then the ones that are too baggy just kind of look like because they don't have any details. But now we have a beautiful cargo detail. I highly recommend these. I also picked up some leg warmers from them. Oh. I also picked up leg warmers from them because I really love that look. And I'll insert a picture of me wearing it. I wore it with my Uggs. They look really nice. I like how these look over any type of boot or sneaker even. I definitely think these would look cool with some sneakers and like a cargo skirt. I saw that one's like somebody on Instagram. I think it looks really interesting and I'm excited to try it. But yeah, I think leg warmers are a definite must for the fall winter season. These ones fit really well. They have like a tie at the top so you can make sure it fits your legs. But yeah, I think these are a really good accessory to have. Definitely, I think we get a pair for the colder months. Oh my god, I skipped right by these bags. I love these. I know I usually do like try and hauls like first impression, but I had a bunch of things to do over the past two weeks, like events and like the Joshua Tree trip, and just a lot of like outfits needed to be planned. I opened this package from Lucan, and I just, I wore almost everything. So there's not a first impression anymore, but I know how much I love these. Nice little cobalt. It's like the perfect little nylon bag it's silver it's just like a basic bag except for i really like this because this is this is a really quality closure oh contact case in there but you know there's like a little there's little pouches in here but this is like a perfect size for most of my outfits i like how you can wear this with kind of like a more relaxed outfit like this and it's not the armhole is like not too small that it gets in the way of this you can also wear like a jacket and stuff like that you can dress it up i wore this to a boohoo man event that jacket that i'll show you later it was perfect. Kept everything that I needed. Wallet, lips, products, keys. I just really like the color of this bag, I think. And then, obsessed with this one. Reminds me a bit of like a Balenciaga bag, but not really at all similar. So it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm just trying to fake a Balenciaga. Details on the front. I love the studs. A little bit edgy. There's a lot going on with the bag. Like there's pouches, there's the studs, there's these little embellishments. There's a pocket in the back. It's actually a huge purse because there's one compartment here. And then there's one back here. I like how it's like a medium size and it's not huge. It stands out a little bit more than a baguette bag. I feel like baguette bags are good, but like not for every outfit, you know what I mean? And it carries a lot, which is what I like, because this also means that I can bring stuff home. For example, food. I feel like the details on it is what drew me in. And I wanted a black bag that wasn't super plain. And black bag is easy to come by, but one like this, this is special. Then we have these pants, which I love. They're like this very nice, not even stage colored, it's just like a, how would I describe this color? A pistachio 
ice cream, specifically ice cream. This is what I mean by clothes are one size fits all. It looks huge, and then they just have drawstrings that you tie in, so it makes it fit you. I'm so glad they do fit me because they are amazing. They're like parachute pants, but not parachute material. Look at them. They're like cargo pants. They're thinner, and they're also kind of like a sweat pant almost, but they're not sweats. I don't know how to describe it, but they're great. And I wore these in Dr. Tree as well. I just really love the color. I feel like they're a unique pair of parachute pants. I haven't come across a pair that look like this, but have this type of material. Because it's such an adjustable way to also make it higher and like tie it super tight. If you want a more of a high-waisted moment. So, these are really versatile. I feel like you can wear this in multiple different ways. I don't know why I'm doing this when I literally have a bra underneath. Definitely must have. I feel like these are going to go very far in my wardrobe, so... Glad I have these now. Then we have this sweater that's very, very warm. I was shocked, shocked by how warm I was because it has been freezing in LA. I mean, by anyone else's standards, it's probably warm. But for me, it was like 60 windy, so it really felt below with the wind chill factor. But when I wore this, I literally just wore this with the arm warmers. I was so warm. I have to show you because it's very cute. I feel like it has to be wool. I'm not really sure what it's made out of, but. It's very soft, so it makes me think it's not wool because usually wool is like itchy. First of all, I love an arm warm moment with a matching sweater vest. Say less. Look at this. Oh, hello. Yeah, I love that you can see a little bit of arm in the midst of it, but you can still be very warm. It's more of a unique piece. I haven't seen this on any other websites that I've been shopping on lately, but I feel like I've seen it on Instagram, so I know it's out there. I just don't know what brands sell them, and this one does. Very happy about it. I love a good arm warmer look. I'm not sure what I wore with this. Um, like what pants I wore. Oh, I wore white parachute pants with these. I feel like you'd also wear it with like shorts and like knee-high boots with tights underneath and have it more dressy, like girly look. I'll always go for a pant look. And I'm so warm. How did they do this? And I want to show you this jacket because I'm obsessed with this jacket. Look how absolutely dope it is. This I wore to the Boohoo Man event, like I said. All of the people that I was with, like they're in fashion, they really are great at picking out thrift items, they're great at just like styling in general. And so I felt very, very happy that they were like, where is this from? I love it. Like I know it's not, it can't be thrifted because it looks way too new, but it has the type of vintage look. It just looks dope. The way I wore it was with this part buttoned and then the rest of it ends it. Love this jacket, it looks so amazing. I had it buttoned like that, and I kind of wore it more like a cape, but isn't this the coolest jacket ever? It is so soft also, it definitely feels like real leather. It's probably not, most likely not. It also has pockets in here, which I feel like is rare for these styles of jackets if they're like a cropped version, but it hits exactly where I want it to hit. It's not too long, not too short. It still has a bit of a poofier, baggy look, but isn't like drowning me. I love these details. It makes me feel so cool. Um, this jacket, I just wear it and I feel cool. And that is what I want for you guys, to just feel cool in your clothes. But yeah, this is what the back looks like. It's just plain in the back. Favorite. This is probably one of my favorite pieces from, uh, actually I don't know because this next jacket I'm gonna show you is also a favorite. If you are shopping on the website, make sure you pick this up because I promise you, you will love it. Look at this. First of all, you know it's gonna be absolutely warm. Second of all, I look like a little bug in this because the hood, you can zip down the middle like this so it's like split or you could zip it up completely and make it into an actual hood. I'm not gonna do it because I feel like I like it open more, but I just, I love how creative this was. It's super poofy, the sleeves are ruched. Personally, I like the detail. Look, ah, and then look at this. Look how cute. Oh, I'm like a little bug. Obviously, if you did it regular, it would just look like a normal hood. But I like how it looks like from the front with this on the shoulders. This is like the warmest little jacket ever. I usually this whenever I'm going out and I know it's cold because I know it's gonna keep me warm and it's cute. And it's cute and it ends up like the perfect length, you know? I think this is a great winter jacket, a great fall jacket. Um, definitely unique. Look at the back ruching as well. It's just, I haven't found a piece quite like this. So I'm loving about this fall right now because all the pieces that I've gotten, I can't find on other sites. Like they're very like one of a kind. You're one of a kind, your clothes should also be one of a kind. While we're doing coats, I'm gonna show you this nice long black one. It, this one has to be wool. It is so heavy. It's really, really nice quality. Super heavy. It fits so well. I don't really like the skinny trench coats because I feel like, first of all, you can't really fit much underneath. And if I wanna wear baggier clothes, it looks funny because it's too thin and like flimsy looking. But this is like, 
perfectly oversized, really not oversized, honestly it fits me really well. It has like enough room in this area for me to wear my baggier pants, for me to put on a sweatshirt underneath. This is like gonna be my winter coat for this year. That's how long it is, it doesn't like drag on the ground for me, like my feet, I still have a good at least five inches till I hit the ground. And then with shoes, like I'm not gonna touch the ground, not even close. It's very simple, it has these pockets. I've been looking for a nice like long coat that I could wear over my outfits when it gets colder and I finally found one that like meets all of my criteria. Okay, and then I got this little t-shirt. I thought it was so cute. Look, it's bears. I actually got another bear item, this sweatshirt. I haven't worn it out yet, but I think I was just like really wanting cutesy stuff in the moment, so. I got these two, easy to incorporate these, like this is a fit already. It's not printed on top of the shirt, so it's not like that plastic on top. It won't like just like crack off in the wash or whatever. It's definitely embedded in there. I feel like it has a bit of a vintage vibe, which I love. Sweatshirt. Look how cute, I love how it fits. Like the way that all these pieces have fallen on my body. Where is at home, but I would definitely wear this outside too. Cause that's just me. Really nice basic pieces I'm getting right now. And then this super cool top has like lace up detail. I wore this in Joshua Tree. I will insert a picture of the full outfit, but I wore it with these pants actually. Love that detail. I'm really into like a more distressed, but like just edgy looking top, but like in a sweater form. I feel like the contrast between the two styles looks really cool. N not what you would expect from a sweater, you know? Because sweaters are like very granny, like Burmian, I feel. And I feel like that together looks really cool. I feel like it is a bit harder to style just because it's like very plain up here. I would have preferred it if it was like a it had some sort of something up here. It was cool enough to pass the vibe check, so it does look a little bit tuniky, in my opinion. This I actually haven't tried on yet, so let's see. How we doing? How we doing? Oh, this is nice. See, this is what I mean, like a sweater, but like kind of, it has distressing in it. It's kind of just like, like I could wear this and still wear like my streetwear clothes and it'll look really nice. This is super cute. See, that's why I like to do first impressions and unbox stuff because I feel like first reaction always is way better than me describing how much I love things. But I do really like this. I'm very into like a big open knit off the shoulder type of sweater. Perfect, I'm definitely wearing this very soon. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. I post a lot of cool outfits, I think. Summertime, my outfit style is, like goes very basic, but once fall hits, boom, outfit. Make sure you follow my Instagram for more outfit inspo. This is dope. Okay, very happy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have some great pieces. Literally every single one that I showed you, I like, I love so much. Huge thank you to Lucan for reaching out to me. I would never have known about this company if they didn't. And now I'm really glad that I get to share it with you. Because as you can see, these are some niche pieces that you have to have. I would be so upset if you weren't aware, at least, of these beautiful creations. Comment below which one of these items are your favorite. I can't pick a favorite at all, but I would love to know what you like the best. Don't forget, I do have a 20% off coupon code in case you want to get anything, and I will link below everything that I got. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Other than that, I will see you in a later video. Bye!